Hi there, everyone. Will Dupree in the KXAN Live studio. We're about to bring you a virtual news conference that Williamson County is hosting about a new testing site that will be set up by the Texas National Guard in Taylor starting on Saturday. Let's take a listen. Our rural cities and community. Uh, and thank you for caring about Williamson County. And I, I do want to give a special shout out to a guy that, that I think is amazing. His name's Nim Kidd. He's the head of emergency management for Texas. And, and Derek would admit every time we've asked the state for help, uh, they've been really quick or as quick as they could be in assisting us. And so uh, the head of emergency management has just been exceptional to work with. So the testing will be on Saturday from 8 to 5 p.m. And I, I want to say a special thank you to my friend Derek. Uh, what, what they've done at the health district in the last uh, days has really just been um, amazing and impressive. Not, not only is the health district caring about um, our residents, but they're caring about the hot spots in our nursing homes. And uh, Derek has just been a, an exceptional team leader. And Derek and I uh, were, we knew each other before this, uh, but now, um, we are uh, friends, and so I'm blessed to have him. Man, I, Derek, you said we'd get close in a disaster. Uh, I just, right. I didn't know. But anyway, Derek's amazing. Derek can tell you more about the, the needs in, in Taylor and Eastern Williamson County, and then we'll, we'll take a few questions at the end. Sure. Thank you, Judge Gravel, and I, I want to thank you as well for your exceptional leadership throughout uh, this event. And uh, before we talk about the testing a little bit, I, I really want to be able to uh, give a, a, a lot of credit, a shout out to uh, Williamson County Emergency uh, Operations Center because uh, our, our ESOC has essentially uh, supported us throughout this entire pandemic. And I can't stress enough, this is the first that this country has experienced uh, in over 100 years. And uh, having been a part of a lot of uh, responses uh, throughout my career, unfortunately, this is probably the best uh, level of response in terms of leadership attentiveness uh, mm -hmm. that's taking place. So I really want to thank both Judge Gravel, our member cities, and the Commissioner's Court for, for, for providing what I consider superior leadership during this time. And also give Michael Shu a shout out because uh, he's been tremendous as well as our ESOC uh, director. Um, we're talking about the uh, testing that's going to be going on in Taylor Saturday, which begins at 8 a.m. Um, the thing that I want us to do is really focus on those symptomatic uh, things that uh, residents need to be aware of to, you know, determine if you uh, is, need a test. And those are some of the things uh, like the fever, cough, shortness of breath, um, which are indicators are of exposure uh, possibly to COVID-19. So we want to make sure that we're testing those individuals that are at the greatest risk in Williamson County for um, contracting COVID-19. Uh, specifically, the reason why uh, the judge and I decided that Taylor was an ideal location was that that's one of our greatest health equity zones. Uh, we have some of our um, poorest residents in the Taylor area and uh, we see a lot of health disparities. So we really wanted to identify an area that we could have the greatest impact with regards to providing uh, testing. And as Judge Gravel uh, indicated, we sincerely thank uh, both the governor and the state of Texas for really identifying rural areas in Texas that can be, um, that we can engage those residents for testing uh, services because to know your status uh, empowers residents. So uh, essentially, uh, those are my comments, uh, and uh, I'll uh, defer to questions at this time. Thank you. Derek, I just want to remind them of how folks can sign up for testing. Uh, okay. Because it is through the state of Texas. If, uh, Thank you. If you guys would help us push and promote a website uh, tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., they're actually going to allow folks to begin to sign up online. But the website is txcovidtest.org. T E C O V I D T E S D dot org. I also, uh, before we go to questions, I want to say a special thank you to uh, Mayor Brant Rydell and Taylor and the Taylor Police Department, and Taylor Fire Department, along with our Williamson County EMS. They have really created a dream team that will be coming together to provide uh, two lanes of testing 
on Saturday and potentially up to four depending on how many folks sign up. So Connie, I think we'll take some questions at this time if there are any questions. Okay. Um, give it a minute. I don't see any specific questions. Uh, can I can I ask a question? It's sure, Claire, go ahead. Is this just testing just being offered for one day? It is. Yes. Okay. And I would remind you too, Claire, that we're doing, the health district is uh, managing and operating a testing site in Georgetown, as well as we have a private provider that the county's partnered with on the west side, Round Rock, Cedar Park, Leander side, uh, that is providing testing there. This is really our first opportunity to get, uh, to, to be broad across uh, the county. Yeah, and uh, we've actually tested 261 uh, individuals at the Georgetown site thus far, and I can tell you that every day we're at capacity. Uh, awesome. To the judge's point, uh, you can go to the district's website to not only register for Saturday's uh, event in Taylor, but you can also go to register for the uh, ongoing testing at the Georgetown site. Uh, the uh, general testing that the uh, county is uh, supporting that registration information is on the uh, county's website, our Facebook page as well. And who's doing the testing? Is it the... Whoa. Who's doing the testing on Saturday? Is it the National Guard that's helping? The, the National Guard are the primary individuals who will be carrying it out. It's supported by the Texas Department of Emergency Management. Okay. Comment. I noticed that um, the second highest number of cases now in Williamson County confirmed cases are from the unincorporated areas of the county, which I'm guessing are the, the rural areas. Um, uh, I counted up like Round Rock leads and then the second most highest number of cases is the unincorporated areas. Do you have any comment about that? Well, I, I can speak to that. Uh, essentially, um, we're going we're going to Taylor because it is a, a health equity zone. Mm -hmm. Taylor is mm -hmm. one of several health equity zones that we have in um, Williamson County, and uh, that essentially means that a lot of indicators are where people work, live, and play uh, determine how long uh, they're going to live and the quality of their life. So it's not mm -hmm. surprising to see uh, the numbers. Um, manifest themselves that way because you have less services in the unincorporated areas of Williamson County. Mm -hmm. But again, our charge in public health is to really support those areas um, to, to bring a level of equilibrium within uh, Williamson County. Okay. Now, if there are no more questions, I'd like to say one last thing, if I could. <laughs> All of you um, that have been reporters yeah, for the last, for me, this is my 97th day to have a conversation about COVID-19. And uh, to you that are in the media, I said this in the very beginning, and I want to make sure you clearly hear this county judge today. If it weren't for you and your effort to get out the story of what was going on with COVID-19, I believe that we would have seen far more cases. I believe we would have seen far more losses of life. There are some of you as reporters that I know that your salaries have been cut, that your days have been cut, and you've been furloughed, and there are even some of you now that continue to work without pay. I just want to say to you on behalf of the 600,000 people that make Williamson County home, thank you for doing your job in a really complicated and difficult time. You've told the story, and by you telling the story, I believe that we've saved lives. And I do believe just the way Derek and I was talking about teamwork among the county and the health district and all of the different agencies, you guys in the media have been a part of a team too. And it's a team that's really made a difference. And I just wanted to personally say thank you again for your sacrifice, for your work. And I want you to know that together, Wilco, we got this. We're just going to have to work together and to continue to get through the steps and process. All right. There are no other questions. Is that right, Connie? Yes. All right. God bless you guys and have a great Thursday afternoon. Thanks, Derek. Thank you, Judge. Bye-bye. Okay.
All right, everyone, that was a virtual news conference wrapping up there with Judge Bill Gravel and with a representative from the Williamson County Health District. Let's recap what they were talking about. Williamson County is announcing that in partnership with the Nas Texas National Guard that a testing site, a mobile testing site, will be set up on Saturday in Taylor. It will be run on that day from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and you will not be able to just show up there. So that's important to note in this particular case. You have to be referred and then they will send you to that testing site and give you an appointment. You cannot go at your own free will or at any time you like. It has to be done by a schedule. Now, if you Let's talk about how we do that exactly. So take a look at this right here. If a resident in Williamson County, mind you, is experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms, that can be fever, coughing, those kinds of things, they can call 512-883-2400 or visit that website right there, www.txcovidtest.org to be screened and make an appointment. You need to be screened first, then they will refer you to the testing site that's going to be set up there in Taylor on Saturday. That testing site in Taylor will be open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. again on Saturday. We wanted to stress that point. Additionally, Williamson County has a public COVID-19 testing site that is in Georgetown, and it's run by the Williamson County Health District. As you heard a moment ago, the, one of the representatives from that organization said that 261 people have been tested at that particular site and every day they are at capacity when it comes to appointments. Letting you know that the people who are signing up and getting screened for those uh, symptoms, they're being sent to that location and given a time to be able to test for COVID-19. And so this event on Saturday will be another way to try to help some people if they're experiencing symptoms. Take a look one more time at this full screen. If you're experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms, you should call 512-883-2400 or log on to www.txcovidtest.org. You can get screened there and then an appointment can be made to visit this mobile testing site in Taylor on Saturday. Thanks again for joining us on this live stream. I'm Will Dupree here in the KXA and live studio. We do appreciate you watching. Everyone, please stay safe and healthy, and if at all possible, still at home. We'll see you another time.